Hi everyone, welcome back to Best Laid Plans. And today's planner video is going to be um, probably a two-parter. In this video, it's all gonna be about like my setup and process for my memory keeping uh, in a big happy planner. I actually have the memory keeping line um, that came out in 2021 and has been being added to. Um, so I've got four of those. Um, and that is what I use for memory keeping. This is actually my first time doing this um, in a happy planner. Um, so I'm I'm pretty excited to do this. And I'm hoping that if you are wanting to get into memory keeping but are feeling a little overwhelmed, that my process can maybe help you um, simplify things. I actually do a year at a time. So I just take like a weekend and I'll do a year at a time. So I'm actually doing 2021. Um, it'll be the first year in this planner. And I have four planners because I do it seasonally. So I have spring, winter, fall, and summer. Um, and I just plan for one season in one year per the dividers. And um, my hope is that I'll get expander disc and just be able to add extensions onto these to keep them going. Uh, until I need to get more. So that is how I kind of organize things. But this video is going to be just about setting things up. So getting your photos ready um, and all of that. And then I'll have a different video that will be sort of a flip through and the final product. So if you're looking for that, that'll be coming in the future. Um, but this video is really going to be about setup and I will be um, going through and doing the whole year, but we're gonna do summer together um, just so that you can see me do a single season um, to see my process. So there's gonna be some helpful advice in the description box. Um, I have all of the measurements for the different photo layouts that are included in the uh, memory keeper. I've just taken them down and recorded them and the number of them so that you can get um, either using Word or like a, a something like I do or you can use like Canva on your phone, use an app um, to get those to print to be those sizes so that you know exactly what those are. So I will get started and I'm going to um, just kind of go through my process step by step. So if you are getting started with memory keeping, just stay tuned. I wanted to start off by talking about the actual memory keeping line. I did a flip through previously um, on my channel when this was released. So I'll leave a card if you want to check that out because um, I'm not gonna be doing a full flip through. What I will be doing is showing you how I use these, how I'm organizing these based on the style um, and, and that kind of thing. So as I noted before, I am a seasonal person um, in terms of how I organize my memory keeping. So um, I just, I, I, I have tried to in the past go through like the date by date using like a big planner or something and it just doesn't work for me. Um, I think if I had like kids or something, it probably might work better. Um, that being said, like you do not have to be a um, mom or be um, at like a level that you think you need to achieve in your life currently in order to memory keep. Um, I want to dispel that right now. Um, I feel like a lot of times the reason people don't get into memory keeping has nothing to do with like being able to print photos or things like that. It has to do with like they're actually feeling that their memories aren't good enough or something. Um, and I did feel that way for a while. Um, I had things happen in my life and they were hard and then I felt like, okay, well then I don't have any good memories. And that's not true. Um, so, I mean, I literally just go off of photos that I've taken on my phone. Um, so I'll just show you, I printed them out for, these are the ones for summer. Um, I just use Microsoft Word to get all the photos to be the right size for the boxes, but I've got, you know, I adopted a puppy and this is all this past summer. I've got cute pictures of all my floofs, <laughs> cooking. And all my boys waiting for their grandma, you know, like it's mostly pictures of like my dogs and my cats. 
um, food I've cooked, gifts I've received, my family, um, you know, that kind of thing. And uh, I just want you to know, if, you know, you don't, if you feel like you can only memory keep if you have like your dream job or you travel um, or you're a mother, um, you can memory keep your memories. Your memories are valid. They are worth it. And you should memory keep. Um, even if it's not in like a physical planner, at least, you know, keep your photos together. Try, try to save those because they are, you, in, there'll be a time where you'll go back and you'll really cherish those. And I don't think that anyone's season of life is unremarkable. And I just hope that you know that. Um, so I wanted to start out this whole video just by saying that um, in case anybody is on the fence about memory keeping because they feel like they don't have, quote unquote, an exciting or fulfilled life. Like, I think that we put way too many expectations on ourselves as women, first of all. Um, and everyone deserves to enjoy their memories and to celebrate happy times, even if it's the smallest of moments, even if it's just a cute picture of your puppy or your kitty or, you know, some small moment where you caught nature in a photograph, um, some silly thing that your kid did. It, it It's something you can celebrate because those little moments really do add up. So I just wanted to say that um, to preface this whole memory keeping journey. So this is the first time I'm using this for anything, but you've all seen this flip through. Um, the photo journal layout is the layout for all of these. And I am using this particular planner for my summer spreads. So the reason I chose this is it has sort of a, it has kind of a Coachella vibe. I think I've said that before. Like it has a very like summer festival vibe. It's got this kind of out in the desert, um, just things that make me think of like summer sun. And so I'm using this for summer. Um, just think it's lots of fun. And basically this layout just repeats through all the rest of these. So um, I have enough here to do four years. And the reason I like to um, do it seasonally also is that Happy Planner sells the extension kits for each of the planners I'm gonna show. Um, so if you want to like not buy a single like planner, but just buy the extension kit and do this um, seasonally like I'm doing. You could just buy this one for summer, um, buy the one for fall and winter, etc. So this is gonna be the one for summer. I'm just gonna tuck these in. I just got this one, so I don't I don't have a flip through of it yet, but this is um the uh, new retro florals one, and I'm using this for autumn. Um, you'll see why. <laughs> see, I literally just like took a picture of my decorations, a new thing I got for my house, what was left over Halloween candy, just little things. Like it doesn't have to be big, big moments. Just enjoy the little things. So I chose this for autumn because even though it's got florals, I feel like it has fall tones in it see I feel like that's very fall it's got like the orange so I will be using this for all of my fall layouts for my memory planner and like I said um one of the reasons why I like this is I can just buy the extension kit if I want to get more um, but it's really nice because I can also kind of coordinate these with fall stickers and not have to worry about it matching. Um, so I felt like this was the most matching for fall. And this one is going to be winter. Uh, this was one of the ones I did do a flip through of when I first uh, got the line. And I got lots of pictures of puppies and kitties. Um, and I also went and I wrote in text that I wasn't totally sure that I could find necessarily um, in a planner. Um, just because like the names of my pets and things like that are like an inside family joke. Like I'm not going to be able to necessarily find like a sticker <laughs> perfectly for that. So I just printed it out. 
Um, so this is going to be for winter. And I think you can see like it has, this is the, the kind of the farmhouse style, but it's got these kind of light green and white, very, uh, very neutral. And it will go well with any type of holiday stickers. And um, so that's why I'm gonna be using this for winter. And all of the uh, products will be in the description. Um, they are on the Happy Planner website, but they're also available at Joanne. Um, so that's uh, another place you can find them, including the extensions. So there's that. And then this is my spring. Um, again, it's more bright and saturated. There's lots of florals. And there's, it's more colorful. I feel like I can use bright spring stickers with this um, and it will match very, very well. So I'm using this one for spring. So I just wanted to show those to you first so you could see why I chose them. Um, like I said, for today, um, I'm just going to be showing you how I'm doing summer, uh, just to go through one month and show you the process. So, so when it comes to memory keeping, you can obviously, if you have a photo printer, use that. For myself, I have like a small, like little Polaroid, like makes little skinny um, printouts. And I may end up using that to kind of fill in spaces in this if I have extra photos. But um, just to make it easier on myself, I did go ahead and actually go through, um, so you don't have to, and I've gone through every single page and anywhere there is listed these measurements, I've noted how many of them there are, the order that they're in, um, and then left those in the description box. So if you need those measurements, they are in the description box of this video, um, and they are the same across the photo layout. So they're the same in this planner, um, in this uh, memory keeper as they are in the other four, and in the extension kits. So if you need that information, it's down there. I go into, um, Microsoft Word. I'm just gonna set this aside. We'll go through these. Um, and I actually have like a little table where I have like, I've made little tables to put them in so I have the right measurements. And I found that this was the easiest way to do this. So it's about 10 pages printed. I do have some extra sets of photos for the pages where there's not like photo templates because I want this to be pretty photo specific. So I've got Pebbles coming home. And um, so these are the 2.5 by 3 by 5. And there's always a couple of 5 by 7s in each. And... Some of these I kind of extended them to fit, but I um, literally have my um, my phone connected to my Microsoft online account. So I just pulled all these photos there. It's They automatically go there when I take a photo on my camera. Again, if you don't have Microsoft Word or um, something else for printing, um, or you need to print directly from your phone, the best way to do it is probably to get an app like Canva um, and then just resize based on those measurements that I listed. So you can see that it, the same sizes start to repeat. <laughs> and here is summer 2021. So these are all summer 2021. So one thing that you will see is that I don't do individual dates. And I know that seems weird because it's memory keeping, but I have found that if I just think of it as, oh, that happened in spring or that happened in winter time or that happened in autumn, it is actually way easier for me to remember. <laughs> um, my planner will have specific dates if I need to go back. Like I, I would write down like important stuff in there. Uh, but in terms of just photos and getting them ready, I just wanted to try to 
just cover what was going on in that season. So in the summer 2021, we adopted, um, we adopted Pebbles was probably the biggest thing that happened there. Um, I did a work conference. So that's me with my planner getting ready for the work conference. My, my, matched my hair to my dress because of course it, I remember all these things. I don't need to have a specific date for me. Just thinking about it as a season um, is much easier. So if you're feeling overwhelmed by like, oh, how am I going to remember all of the dates and little details? I think that start with the photos, get them ready, you know, and then you'll actually remember things from looking at the photos. And that's where you can start writing. Um, so this is um, really more of a decorate first, write later type of situation in my planner kind of world. Um, with memory keeping, I put down the photos first. I'll put down like any captions that I already got done. And then I will go back and I will decorate through and I can enjoy just casually writing in about the memory. And I think that that is actually more fun and it's a lot easier because you don't have to commit yourself to remembering everything. Um, you can almost use it like a journal, use it as an exercise, you know, let the, the photo, let that spark the memory and, and then you can write about it. All right. So that took a little while, but not too long. Um, so these are all the photos and um, when I print them out, I try to print them with the first part of the month to the very end of the month. So this is going to be like June, July, and here is August um, because those are my summer months here. And one other thing that I'll mention, um, and you can see that when I cut these out, like I'll leave like some white space or the edge. Um, I don't let that bother me because I'm going to end up covering the edges with like washi tape. Um, so that's my little hack <laughs> so that I don't have to worry about that. But if you have like, um, difficulty cutting out straight edges, you could always use a cutter if you want, or if you want your kids to like help you cut pictures out, um, and you're worried about like even lines, like that's a good trick, just cover the edges with watchy. So I have these in order now um, from June through the end of the month. And I am going to just get started with putting them into my um, memory keeper and I will play some music and you can watch me go through and lay them down um, and then We'll be ready for the next stop.
So one thing I'll mention is that there are pages in this that don't have any like photo prompts on them. And so I have printed out just a couple extra things. Um, obviously I can also go back and like just decorate them or use them as journaling. Uh, but I did print out a couple things. So for this page here, I'm going to put them on the couch. And I'm gonna put this one right here. And I think I'll probably have some extras to put over here on this page, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, again, you can always go back and fill in. So I have like these blank pages and then some space here and some more blank pages here. So you do have a lot of room to journal um, and write. So now um, this, once that's done, just starts right back over and these are gonna be the exact same pages. Um, so that's why I just find it easy to get the photos ready first. Um, this is a great example of um, I messed up a little bit. So this one here was supposed to be the uh, four by six, and this one was supposed to be five by seven. Um, I don't mind though because I think this is fine, and like I said, I can just go around with washi tape. Um, so. You know, if you end up having like a little mishap like that, it's just really easy with decorative planning to, to go around. And I kind of like how it looks. So I am going to just finish this up and then I will go back and we'll do the washi around the frames and some decoration. So here is where I have some extra spaces where I had already used some other photos. So what I'm going to do for these is do a collage with Sherman and Pebbles playing. So. I think that's super cute. I'm gonna glue that down. And the nice thing about the dismount systems is that if I don't end up filling all of these pages, I can just pull the last two pages out 
um, and use them in the future. So there's definitely room to add some more things in. I am going to do, um, this is like a 4th of July. So that's his 4th of July bandana. And then I also had um, this amazing um, pe Georgia peaches and fresh, um, it's not angel food cake. Oh, it's pound cake. Yeah, I'm like, it definitely was an angel food cake. It was really heavy. So yeah, my friend made me pound cake um, and just brought it over as a gift. And I thought that's just the sweetest memory. So I'm including that as well. And like I said, it, you know, I'll, I can always go through, I can decorate pages, I can journal on them. But now I essentially have an entire three months of a whole year in my memory keeper of photos. Um, and that's why I like to do it by season. I just feel like, you know, this is the fastest way for me to do it because my plan is for, um, I'm doing this over Labor Day weekend, is to get all of my months for the year um, from 2021 done. So this is just one of those. So I still have plenty of room for decoration and things, but we've got summer 2021. Here is another page where I'll have to add things. And then I'm just gonna take these out. And I'm just gonna tuck these at the very back of the planner. to have as extras. So that really didn't take that much time. Um, I will say this, you're going to go through a few glue sticks if you're doing this way or a tape runner. So just make sure you have plenty of glue for this project, um, for getting things into your memory planner. It'll make it much easier. So I finally finished with washi and I went through and I just pulled a couple books. I pulled pet because I have a lot of pet pictures. I pulled my seasonal uh, mega book and homebody seasons. And I went through and just added some summer quotes and decoration um, and filled in the um, little journal notes. So there's still some blank spots where I can go add things later, but it's pretty much done for summer. So I want to flip through and just show you. I've got summer 2021 on the little tab. And then it starts off here. And I put these stickers from Simply Gilded that I got because I thought they were really cute. And here's our first page after the pen. Here is Figro's page. I love that picture of them. And I just added a little journal sheet here and some dog quotes for Ferris. Did a little journal page here. Fourth of July journal page. A 
and this I um, I decorated um, here because I'm going to go back and do a little um, journal about my adoption of pebbles. I didn't write it in yet, but I just added these little quotes in the pink doghouse for that. And then we've got pebbles coming home. The pink puppy bed saga is a whole thing. <laughs> she used to have a cute pink puppy bed and everybody wanted to take it from her. That's her chewing my slipper. And then her first vet visit. And then this is her coming home and I just added this little decorative page with summer quotes on it that kind of matched everything. And I have washi on that because that is her ID tag and it has my address. So sorry, internet, I'm not showing you that. <laughs> and then this is blank, so I don't have anything here. I could always go back and add, um, or I could just leave it. Here we have these pages. Again, same thing. And for the last page, I just have this little collage I made of her and Sherman and just a little journal entry about how we had so many firsts that summer. So that is my all of summer 2021 in my memory planner. And I'm, um, I'm really enjoying this format. I, I like the photo journal format. I have a different um, memory planner that's like the actual like seasonal big vertical weekly planner and this is just so much easier for me and I don't think I would have done this if I had to kind of think about the actual like individual dates but just doing like a little scrapbooking and photo collage I feel like that is something that I can handle and I really look forward to doing um the fall winter and spring ones um and then sharing those with you um in a future video so there will be a part two to all this memory keeping uh, where I will just go through and do a quick um, flip through of all of those so you can see how I decorated uh, Christmas and everything and uh, all the fall and spring holidays. So that is my little process um, from beginning to end of doing a full season in my memory keeping happy planner. I hope you enjoyed this video and like I said I'll leave a um, link in the description uh, letting you know which of the different products I'm using for each season, any sticker books that I pulled, uh, as well as um, what these are called, um, and of course the measurements for the photos. Um, so those are all in the description box. Um, let me know if this was helpful to you, if you plan on using this method for memory keeping. Um, for me, like I, I like to think that I'm a big scrapbooker memory keeper person, but when it comes to like my personal photos and things like that, I just, um, I really fall by the wayside there. So this is a really great way for me to use this. Um, please like this video, comment below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I will be back with um, more September goodness next video. We're going to look at hopefully some of our um, small shop September orders coming in and highlight those small shops. So it'll be really fun. Stay tuned for that and I will catch you next Wednesday. Bye!